welcome back guys hope you had a wonderful time watching that last video i sure as hell had a good time making it haha <laughs> so anyway we're back we're fucking ready for for anything i have i'm gonna continue my topic from last week or the other day what did i say last week because i assume every video i put up is from every week ago but in reality i just gotta put up whatever the fuck and i got caught because being a fucking idiot so like last week i had a bit of a trouble with the some of the some of the levels so i wasn't able to finish my topic so we're gonna we're gonna figure this time so my topic last week, for those who weren't here, or for some reason... <gasps> oh my god, dude. I'm sorry, did you see that? I'll fucking tell that shit, did you see that? Oh, you know what I mean? Huh? Ah! Anyway, my topic last week was um, old video games that I enjoyed to play. And I was talking about Super Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Old Door. Now I know, some of you, whoever didn't have a GameCube, I feel sorry for you. There was it was it was a good console. It had some good games. And though some people didn't like Luigi's Mansion, I like Luigi's Mansion. So fuck you, whoever didn't like Luigi's Mansion. We start the Mario game we wanted. But what about Super Mario Sunshine? Mario Sunshine sucks. You know what? You could just take that opinion and go fuck yourself with it. Cause <sighs> Mario Sunshine, that's a fucking classic ass game. It's a good game. It's a good motherfucking game. And I don't want to hear any like smack talk from that. All right? No, no. Mr. Tiger. So it's a good game. I like, I like Luigi's Mansion. I like Super Mario Sunshine. I like, I like Super Paper Mario Thousand Year Old Door. It's good. They're all good. They're all tasty. Reasons? You want reasons? Um, they're good. They're really fun. They got good controls. They make you giggle, gaggle, or they make you gasp. And then you're like, oh damn, Mario's got a washer, dude. That makes no sense. You play, you're like, you know what? I can get behind Mario with a washer. Yeah, Mario with a washer. It, it, its name is Flood, because it likes to flood the area with water. Get it? Because I did as a kid. Though it's spelled weird. Spell F L U D D. Flood, as they would say in other areas that is not here. This is the channel Mush Fun Guy. Anyway. So. Oh, I can go there. Let's do that shit. Okay, anyway. I really like the old classic GameCube games. They are really fun. They're really great. I really enjoy them. A lot. Um. What other games do I like? Billy Egg Hatcher, for anyone who knows that game. It's a pretty good game. I really enjoy that game. Even though I didn't play it too much, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I don't know, like, like, what kind of reasons do you want me to give, dude? It was fun. They were fun games. I enjoy RPG elements, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Old Door. The fucking characters were amazing. Fucking the items and shit, they were tasty. I had a grand time in general with that. The bosses, fucking memorable as shit, dude. Remember that bone boss that you can only get if you go to, the, like, the thousand pits of doom, and even then you have to, like, it's fucking bullshit because it takes fucking forever, and you can, like, use Goombalina, that's her fucking name, to, like, fucking tattle on everyone. And no, this ain't your fucking, like, little bro being like, he fucking spilled the water on the ground, ma! It's like, yo, dude, that fucking bitch has, like, 39 health and, like, 5 defense, and you're like, oh, shit, gotta pull up the super power with that shit. And then, like, your, your, your like, partner's like, oh, dude, don't worry, I got, I got shrinking eggs, so the things will, it's good, man. And everyone's like, oh, damn, he's, he knows what he's doing. Now, oh, fuck. Now, here's the thing. For people who don't know what Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Old Door is, play it. I, I'd highly suggest it. And for people who don't like RPGs, well, don't play it, because it's not, it's not up your alley, man. I'd suggest watching a walkthrough of someone who's interesting to play. I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll do, like, a live stream or some, some shit. Or maybe, like, if I'm, I'll do, like, a like a live event. I don't know how that will work, but I'll do like a live event where I'm just like, hey guys, check it out. I'm playing Paper Mario Thousand Year fucking goddamn door. And like, I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. Look at you guys enjoying that from down there. I would fucking speed run that shit, right? Fucking goddamn. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Why do I like Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion's a good game. Um, you play as Luigi. Fucking big shocker, right? Now, Luigi, he wins a mansion. Now, Luigi. He gets a call. And he's like, hey, you won. And Luigi's like, Excuse me. It's like you won, Luigi, and he's like, "Oh, uh, thanks. What I win? You want to you want a mansion, Luigi?" And Luigi's like, "Oh, cool." So then Luigi says, "Hey Mario, come to my mansion. I just want." And Mario's like, oh, "Okay." And then they go to the mansion, except Mario goes there first and gets captured by the the ghosts, 
and then Luigi's like, huh, I didn't even enter a contest, lol. And then, like, the professor he got, the, the scientist guy who's there has been studying ghosts, is like, dude, what the, the fucking, why did you come to this haunted-ass mansion, dude? And Luigi's like, haunted! And it's like, yeah, it's a fucking idiot. And it's like, why, you didn't you didn't enter any contest and you want to think, what, 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 what are you expecting, dude? And then Luigi's like, ah, shit. And then it's like, so, also, by the way, this red guy came in and he fucking, like, went into that mansion. And Luigi's like, did it happen to Emily's clothes? And then, like, yeah, it's like, shit, that's my brother, Mario. And then Professor E. Guy's like, dude, take this vacuum cleaner and fuck him up. I'm too old for this shit anyway. Fuck up those ghosts, baby. And Luigi's like, I got this. But he doesn't got this because he's a scary little baby. But he's the best because he actually... Wait a second. Did you guys see that? I didn't cloak there. Am I losing my fucking... Anyway, so Luigi... He's a fucking scaredy baby, but I fucking love him, alright? He's the best. He's the best bro. Mario, he's okay. Luigi, he's got emotion. He's got that scarediness. Although, I wish they would, like... Like, because back in the old Superstar... Oh, that's a good game. Superstar Saga. Fucking Mario and Luigi, baby. That's, that's a fucking good game. Um, but I wish in the Superstar Saga, they wouldn't fucking, like, make Luigi the butt end of the joke all the time. It's like, ah, oh, Luigi got hurt. It's like, yo, hey fucking clever joke with Mario and Luigi both getting hurt, or a clever joke of, like, Mario making fun of Luigi and then getting fucking punched in the face. Like, that's funny. Like, that's that's good. I like that. I don't like it when fucking Luigi's the only one to get hurt. And everyone's like, lol, Luigi got hurt. That's not a fucking funny joke, dude. That's not funny. But Luigi, he gets his own fucking game in this. He's having a grand old time catching ghosts, saving his brother. And, uh, hey, guess what? We just fucking did that shit. Anyway, Luigi gets a mansion, has to save Mario from ghosts, and he has to fucking face his fears and beat up a bunch of ghosts. Doesn't sound like a fucking sweet ass game. Get the fuck out of my face. So yeah, uh, it's a fun game. I enjoy it. Uh, this is Mario Sunshine. Mario c goes on vacation with Princess Peach on a trip to Delfino Plaza. And then um, they arrive there. And then um, fucking uh, there's this imposter being like, pretending to be Mario. And then Mario's like, whoa, what? And then he get, but then he gets put on trial, and they're like, yo, dude, you're gooping the whole fucking, uh, like, ta like, area, dude. Fuck you. And Mario's like, what the fuck? You I just got here. It's like, yeah, a likely story, fucko. So then they, um, they put Mario on trial, and, uh, Mario goes to jail. Yeah, Mario literally goes to jail, and he gets fucking, like, almost sued for, like, gooping up the whole area. Fucking fuck your mother in the mouth hole. Anyway, so yeah, Mario gets fucking put on trial. He's like, yo, you gotta do some fucking- You gotta clean up this whole fucking aisle, dude. You fucking suck dick. And Mario's like, I just came here for a fucking vacation, dude. Please. Can we just have some fucking vacation? So then in the end, you find out who the, um, who the actual masked person is. I'm not gonna spoil it for people who don't know. For the people who do know, hey, you know what I'm talking about. Fuck! I probably should've cloaked there. Anyway, moving on. So yeah, they find the cloak guy, they mess him up, and then, like, Mario's like, lol, fucking wreck, bro. And then Bowser's like, I tried ca kidnapping Peach again, but it didn't work, lol. And that's fun. So it was a good game overall. I had fun. The we it was weird, it was qu quirky. I didn't really realize that like, how fucking, like, weird everything was in that game. Well, I mean, I did. It's just, like, more so now when I'm older. I'm just like, you know, there probably shouldn't be that thing over there. That's kind of weird. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. Really enjoy the game. Really enjoy it. Um, let's see. What else? Billy Egg Hatcher, you're a guy, and you, you fucking are really into chickens, so you wear a ch chicken costume. And, um, those are attacking literally everything. Better get my giant egg and save the world and with eggs. 
And no, not like, oh, I gotta shoot the eggs of the guys. Literally, like, you hatch eggs. Big chicken. It's a weird Japanese game. What do you think? This is fucking DiCaprio. This is fucking mod shoot -a -loot -a. Anyway. Some other games I like. Um, I really like uh, the Mario and Luigi series. I mean, up until, like, the the newer ones. Because I, I had... Like, Bowser's Inside Story is where things started to die out for me. Because, you know, it's fucking... It wasn't that good. I thought it was okay. I like the Game Boy one. That was a fun one. Two Game Boy games that I fucking love to the end of time. Super Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga, and fucking... Motherfucking Sonic Advance 3. Oh, baby. The fucking soundtrack from that? Whew! It's good. It's really good. I might actually, like, like put in a clip, because I can do that. I might put in a clip and just be... And I'll be like, da 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 Fuck. Whoa. Again, what was that? He's not even paying attention. He's smoking a cigarette. He's as he's sleeping, dude. Anyway. So yeah, really like those games. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. You fucking you go to the Bean King Bean Kingdom. Fucking some Fawful and this other weird person like fuck up the shit. And they're like, oh god, Mario Luigi save our area. And Mario Luigi's just like, okay, I guess. And then they go and save the area, and everything's fine. And then, like, um, basically, uh, Sonic Advance 3. Oh no, Robotic Eggman has stolen the Chaos Emeralds again. And then everyone's like, oh shit. And then, uh, they fuck up Robotnik. Oh god. Uh, good games that I like. Um, I'll talk about, like, computer games that I like right now. Computer games that I like. I like Nuclear Throne. I like Binding of Isaac Rebirth and the original, back when the original didn't look like shit. Um, I like this game, Master Spy. If you know what game that we have to play if you guys love me to watch and doing platformers. That was a good sentence. Um, Super Meat Boy, that's a pretty tasty game. Anyway, good games are Lisa. Lisa the Painful RPG. Fucking amazing ass tasty game. If you're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me to do a fucking review on Undertale, I'll do a review on Undertale because fuck Undertale. Undertale's mediocre at best. You're giving it fucking high praise because the goddamn Pope fucking picking on his dick and being like, check it out guys, and everyone's like, <gasps> No! No way! Oh my god! It's like, shut up. Shut up. I like TF2. I really like TF2. What other games do I like? Uh, uh, games do I even have on my Steam library? I have like 148 games or some shit on my Steam library. I need to play a few more of those. The Poker Night 2. That's a fun game because you can play poker with all of your favorite characters. Fucking why? Like what? What is that? Pixel perfect ass bullshit? Like what is that? Fucking tiger ass bullshit bullshit ass tiger. Look. No, like, why though? But why? But why? But why? Hawk! I stand here facing thee, looking at thy game, and yet thee decides to thy my thee on thy though. Hawk! 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 Fucking goddamn Asian. It's not racist. These Asians are fucking annoying, dude. I can say that because they're all Asian. It's not like there's like one white guy there, and I'm like, fucking Asians, and the white guy's like, thanks, man. What ethnicity is Master Spy? That's a good question. We don't know. All we see is his pupils. Dude, Master Spy's got it down on lock. All we know is that he's a guy and he's a Master Spy. That fucking rhymed. Dude, Master Spy's got it all in the little biggity bag. He's got it like a tie, like a goddamn cherry stem knot. He knows what's up. I'm clicking the button. I'm going over here. Avoiding the saw blades. Going there. Going there. I know how to do this shit. It's like fucking goddamn pancake mix all over my dick. Fucking give me some more topics to talk about in the comments below. Honestly, I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just making shit up. Like, talk about my favorite games. Who cares? No one cares about that. You want me to give you some fucking relationship advice? I'll do that shit. I don't know what to give you, though. Honestly, it's like, don't date fucking crazy people. Now, you know what? Here's the two main advice I give you. Okay. So don't put your dick in crazy. Don't let a guy who's crazy put his dick in you. I, I can't think of an easy way to say that. Oh yeah, don't don't fuck anyone while you're drunk unless you unless it's consensual. Like if you're like dating and you fuck, okay that's fine. But don't fuck the random chick that you just met at the party. Don't do it, man. I don't care how hot she is. You don't know who the fuck she is. Even if you do know who she is, it's suggested you don't. Because honestly, y you're gonna like come on, man. If she really wants to fuck you, she'll fuck you when she's sober. And it's probably a lot safer, so you don't impregnate her with a baby, and you're like, oh, fuck. Or, it, ladies, you don't get fucked, and you're like, oh, wait, now I have a baby. Or you fucked up that ugly guy that you didn't want to, like, talk to, but then he somehow warmed his drunk ass into your fucking life, and you're like, well, fuck, I gotta deal with this shit. So that's not cool. Don't do that. That's not cool, man. Don't put your dick in crazy. Don't let someone who's crazy put their dick inside of you. 
and don't fuck while drunk. Don't do that. That's, those are like my main two rules. Do not do that. Again, unless it's consensual with the fucking like drug shit. But you know that that's like I think that should be pretty clear. Oh! 